Hi, and welcome to Podcentric. In this video, I'm going to show you how Podcentric works. In the left side menu is Dashboard, Podcasts, Episodes, Automation, Responses, Recordings, and Contacts. Next is Manage Teams, Integrations, Reseller Manager, and White Label. You will have access to these last ones if you have purchased the upgrades. Now let's start with podcasts. There are already some podcasts created. Let's create a new one though. Click the new podcast button, choose the thumbnail for the podcast, the title, subtitle, the description, and make sure to fill in all required fields and then click save. Now the podcast was created successfully. Next, a new episode may be added to the podcast. First, fill in information about the episode, including episode artwork, type of episode, full trailer bonus, and episode description or show notes. A custom label can be assigned for planning purposes. Next is media content. For this demo, I'm selecting a file from already uploaded videos. Select a time to publish immediately or later. Edit the episode and click save. There is no limit to the number of episodes to add. Now it's time to distribute the podcast. Every podcast has its own unique URL, which can be shared in any text, site, message, or on social media. It can also be shared on the most popular listening apps with easy single-click submission to leading directories, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon, as well as popular listening apps like Pandora, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. Podcentric also offers a simple, responsive podcast website, which is the public page for your podcast. Each of these options may be customized to make the podcast page unique. Communicate with listeners and customers by receiving and sending videos and voice messages online. The person may leave a message and support can respond when available. Analytics informs you how your podcast is performing, including download total, unique listeners, listener demographics, web traffic stats, and more. Next in the left side menu is automations. Podcentric does for podcasts what blogs do for text. Blogs are diary-style websites, of course, that post content in reverse chronological order. Now, podcasts are similar, but listeners subscribe to the content usually via a podcasting platform, such as Apple Podcasts, which is iTunes, Spotify, or YouTube. Only a few minutes are needed to set everything up with Podcentric, which starts a chain of processes every time there's something new on your website. Now, this includes compilation of the content, logo, photos, and more into a prime product. The end result is beautiful podcast episodes that your new and existing users will love. Next on the menu is responses. Responses can be viewed for each podcast. If the contact form has been enabled and the respondent has left his details, you may respond to the listener. Next is recording. This is where you manage all your videos. You could record a video from your webcam, screen share, or upload videos, plus done-for-you videos, Jiffy, Pixel, YouTube, Dropbox, and Vimeo. Podcentric also gives you the ability to manage your own team. Next is integrations. Integrations allow you to instantly connect your favorite apps to automate your work and be super productive. Current integrations are with most of the main autoresponders or email service providers on the market, so Podcentric users can build an email list from their listeners. Our API-level integrations include GetResponse, ConvertKit, Benchmark, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Aweber, Mooseend, and Sendlane. The reseller program offers extra benefits to resell Podcentric solutions. Next is White Label. An overview tab keeps everything organized. Add your own brand name, plus change the theme color, logo, and favicon. Next is email settings. Follow the steps to set up white label email, which allows email notifications from your own company domain. And finally, domain settings adds your own domain and subdomain name. Thank you for watching this podcentric demo.